On this morning's Health Watch, misused medications. A new report suggests that 75% of Americans do not always take their medications as directed, and that's leading to some very serious problems. Here with tips on how to take your meds correctly is CBS News medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Great to have you with us, Good Jen. Good morning, Rebecca. So this report references something called non-adherence. Right. Can you tell us what specifically that is? What that basically refers to, Rebecca, is when a doctor or a healthcare provider sits down and writes a prescription for a medication for a patient there are a couple of things involved. The dose of the medication, how much the patient is supposed to take, how often, and for how long. And as you said, the number of patients who don't comply with that recommended treatment regimen is really astounding. Over 50% of the more than 3 billion prescription medications written in this country every year are not taken as prescribed. And obviously, not only can that be suboptimal, it can be dangerous. Why would you say this issue is growing in America? You know, I think probably the greatest reason is that today most patients don't have that close doctor-patient relationship, so they don't have the time or the opportunity to really discuss their concerns with their health care provider. And those concerns can range from anything from the cost of the medication to side effects, which many people are concerned about, to actually what to expect in terms of when someone's taking those medications, how they expect to feel. So that lack of a relationship then spirals into all of these other concerns. The other thing is now these medications are more complicated, mm -hmm. they're more involved, and a lot of people battling and living with chronic diseases are on multiple medications, really stacks the deck in terms of these problems. You mentioned the concerns, but there are also some very serious consequences that this paper found. It said that people who aren't taking their prescription medications properly, more than one-third of medicine-related hospitalizations and nearly 125,000 deaths in the U.S. every year are due to people not doing it properly. Exactly. And you know what, um, Rebecca, I have a patient that I saw recently. I prescribed a medication. I called her several months later to find out how she was doing. It turns out she never even started the medication because she had spoken to someone who voiced a concern about a possible side effect. And I said to her, if you had discussed that with me, we could have we could have been three months ahead mm -hmm. of where we are right now. So really to address this, the government has created a plan. It's a public education campaign called Script Your Future. And it really provides all aspects of the health care arena from patients to big pharma to doctors to caregivers and support groups to pharmacies with online tools that they can use to really help manage these concerns. You can get anything from a free text message to remind hmm. you when to take your medication to charts that you can print out to keep track of your medications. And the hope is that all of these things will really help people comply with what their health care provider has suggested. As a doctor, what do you recommend? Well, a couple of things. First of all, talk, talk, talk. Ask questions of your, of your health care provider. Talk about your concerns. How common are the side effects that you may be concerned about, and when should you start to feel better? You certainly mm. don't want to keep taking a medication if it's not working and treating the problem that it's supposed to take treat. The other thing is keep written lists. With people on multiple medications, it is so important, Rebecca, to keep a list of the medication, when you started it, when you're supposed to take it, what other medications or supplements you're also supposed to be on. And lastly, you really don't want to self-medicate mm -hmm. or stop any of these medications without talking to your doctor. People get afraid, they have logistical issues, they maybe can't afford them, they share medications, all of doctor those things. Doctor knows best. Recipe for disaster. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, <laughs> speaking of, thank, thank you, you so much for coming in this morning. And for more tips on how to make sure you're taking your medications correctly, go to our partner in health, webmd.com, and search medication mistakes.